my name is Sanjeev Kumar. I am from Chitkara University. In this lecture, we will have a brief look on uh, TSP kit by Spectrum Digital. Uh, this kit name is uh, TMS320 C6713. This kit is suitable for audio applications. So let us have a look on the kit. Okay, so let us have a look on uh, DSP starter kit. The core uh, component of this kit is the DSP. It is floating point DSP and its name is TMS320 C613 and it works on 225 megahertz. Um, the another component that is on the kit is uh, one is the audio codec. That, that is the main component here uh, for uh, doing the sampling of the signals. Uh, it has the ADC and DAC both. And it works with 8 to 96 kilohertz of sampling rate. Means it, it's variable, like it, it can uh, work with the 44 uh, kilohertz or it can work with 48 kilohertz. Uh, that you need to configure it. Uh, and it is connected to the uh, MC BSP of the TSP kit. And there is a memory, like uh, there are two memories. One is the uh, RAM. Uh, this RAM is uh, of uh, 16 MB and there is 512 KB of flash memory. And there are general input output pins on the kit. These general output pins are actually connected to the uh, two things. One is LEDs and the DAP switches. There are four LEDs and four DAP switches and uh, there is a USB interface on the kit that is actually used to connect your kit with the uh, your PC and uh, you can see the kit here uh, this is the kit uh, the main component here is the DSP here and uh, there are some another components here uh, the second thing is uh, so uh, what comes with the kit uh, if we open the uh, new box uh, then uh, we can find the four things here uh, one main thing is the kit that I have actually shown you here and uh, the second thing is the CD. I, it contains the Code Composer Studio. Mm, this software you need to uh, do coding into your kit uh, and it has some supporting documents and some examples here. Um, there is one USB. Uh, this is the USB you use to connect your DSK with your um, PC and the power supply you need to uh, give power to your kit. This is the power supply you need. This is the power supply. Uh, and uh, if you have to uh, give the input signal to the kit, you need some additional components. Like you need, uh, you can see here, uh, you need additional components like uh, for giving the input, you need some, uh, this type of wire. Uh, you can, uh, this is the wire, uh, it, it has the audio connector on the both side. Uh, with this, you can uh, give the inputs from some sound device like from your laptop or somewhere uh, to your kit. And the second thing is the uh, headphones. Means these headphones uh, can be used for the output and there is a mic here. That mic can be used for uh, giving the input, real time input. And these are the speakers you need if you want. Uh, there is a, a line out output on the kit and this, uh, these speakers can be connected to that. Means if you are doing some uh, really uh, like filtering or some another applications then uh, but probably you need the speakers because you, because you have to see whether uh, you are filtering out the higher frequencies or the lower frequencies. Uh, so this is the functional block diagram of the kit. If you will see here, this is the main thing. The DSP is here and uh, there are different uh, communication ports like MCBSPs. This is multi-channel buffer serial ports. These are connected to the codec. This is uh, AIC23 codec. And there are four or two inputs and two outputs with this codec. One is the mic in and second one is the line in. Difference between two is the mic in has an inbuilt of uh, amplifier because because your mic cannot give the uh, uh, high voltage signal. So you need an amplifier. Uh, the AIC has uh, internal amplifier. And uh, another two outputs are line out and the uh, headphone out. Uh, the DSP is connected to another, RAM, uh, one is connected to the CPLD. CPLD, there is a glue logic, means uh, there are some resistors made uh, uh, on this CPLD the, that are used to uh, 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 for the full functionality of the kit, and there are uh, there is a flash memory and uh, SRAM is here. Uh, there are expansion ports, so you can connect your memory here or the uh, uh, peripherals. Uh, uh, on the left side here is the JTAG connection. Uh, that's actually for the emulation of your kit. Uh, there is a USB, or uh, there are the LEDs and the DAP switches.
this is the physical layout here. Uh, you can uh, see the physical layout like this. Uh, there are uh, two inputs for the line in and the mic in, and there are two outputs. These are audio input and outputs. Uh, this is the codec here. Uh, this is the DSP. Uh, these are the expansion slots. Uh, this, these are the DIP switches, and these are the four LEDs. So uh, this is the USB, and here you can give the DC power supply. So um, this was a quick look on the kit. So in the next uh, few lectures, we'll uh, uh, set up the new projects, and we'll, I will tell you that how to uh, blink your LEDs and how to make uh, new applications with that. Uh, and you can do some of the applications with this kit, like. Uh, it's uh, most suitable for the audio applications. Like uh, if you're doing the speech recognition, you can use this kit. If, uh, for the filtering, like if you have made uh, FIR filters, IR filters, uh, uh, for removing the noise, for sound effect like echo, wire, uh, reverberation, mm, uh, decoding the DTMF signals, and much more. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh,